Greetings! Welcome to our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to get max date value using DAX functions in Power BI. In this source data, we have two columns. First column contains the invoice date and second column contains the invoice amount. From this data, we need to get recent date or max date invoice amount using DAX functions. Before that, we create a table visual to visualize the data in table format. For that, we go to report view, select table visual from visualization section and drag invoice date and invoice amount from invoice details table and place it in columns field of table visual. We will make this table visual little bigger. Next, we create a measure to write DAX functions for getting max date value. For that, select invoice details table, right click and select new measure. We will rename this measure as recent invoice. We start with calculate DAX function. We calculate the total invoice amount using sum DAX function. For that, we use sum DAX function and select invoice amount column from invoice details table and close the parenthesis of sum DAX function. In filter expression of calculate DAX function, we provide filter condition as invoice date column should be equal to max of invoice date column. Close the parenthesis of max date function and close the parenthesis of calculate DAX function. And now we will check this tick mark. To visualize this output of this measure, we use chord visual. For that, we select chord from visualization section. We will place it next to this table. We drag recent invoice measure and place it in fields. That's it. We got the recent date or max date invoice amount in chord visual. If we want to change this format, then go to format and you can select call out value and in value decimal places, you can increase or decrease the decimal places. If you want to change the display units, then you can select none. Then you will get the exact amount which is showing in the table. This is the easy way to get max date value using DAX functions in Power BI. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions or share your feedback in comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.